good afternoon youtube doing some riding around today looking at some spots that i found on google maps and this particular part of this creek here is part of a creek that i've been fishing for a long time i've just never drove back here and looked at it like i didn't even know the road that comes into this spot was there like i had no idea i never go down the road that this is on anyway this looks really good and there's something down there in that brush pile fighting probably a beaver or something like that but there's a lot of ducks and stuff back here right now too but this looks really good like this when it gets up to you know winter or not winter but summer pool this will be a good spot to sit right here on the bank so we're going to take a little walk across the across the bridge here and kind of get an idea of what it looks like over there okay we're not going to go all the way across there i don't fully trust this bridge <laughs> Like some of this mesh is kind of coming loose from the little brackets there, but this looks really good. I'm gonna have to remember this, come back and check it, check it out later. Heck, this might actually be a good little spot to sit and catch some small creek channel cats. I'm gonna get turned around, hopefully not get stuck, because <laughs> I had to cross a couple of decent mud holes getting back here, and go check out this other road that goes to a spot that I really want to check out and have never been to. So we'll see you there. Anybody need a flip-flop? We are at the other bridge that I wanted to check out. And this, although there more than likely ain't any, this just, this just looks like somewhere a flathead catfish would hide. You got all of this structure right here. Pretty nice deep spot right over here and if i'm being honest this bridge looks a lot more sturdy than <laughs> the other one like you got some big eye beams and two befores going out through there but but i may just hang out right here for a few minutes because i do have some worms and a rod or two or ten in my vehicle and see what all we can catch because i can actually get down to the water right there hmm new catfishing spot maybe anyway I'm gonna sniff around for a minute maybe catch a couple of fish and yeah check us out some more later on that's about the dirtiest old yoder's been in a hot minute kind of looks good and every so often you have to go play in some mud i used to do that a lot more but not so much anymore just because that got expensive real quick i might throw a couple of clips up from some videos from way back when when i had my jeep that was my daily driver and off-road toy All right, we fished this spot here at this bridge for about 30 minutes or so with artificials and worms and only managed a couple of bites. So I'm going to hit up one more bridge for just a few minutes because it is getting a little bit late in the day and see if we can salvage something. But if anything, we found two new spots that we can fish from later this year once it warms up, which I think is the problem with this creek and the other one we looked at first is the water still cold it's still pretty shallow but this all leads into a spot that i have caught flatheads blues and stuff like that in so i know they're in here at some point so we'll definitely have to check this out later this spring and summer once things start to warm up all right didn't go to the bridge that i was originally going to go to so i came back down here to where creek fishing adventures and i fished here recently and the water's come up a little bit but not by much but anyway it is getting kind of windy fortunately i'm the only one down here so i've got a little bit more bank space to play with but it being windy we got storms moving in tonight so i'm not going to give this too long i'm just going to throw around a couple of lures see if we catch some bass and some panfish stuff like that and see what happens We actually hooked up with something. It's our old pal, the crappie. A little black crappie. 
Now, black crappie, a lot of times, especially like right now, they look real pale. They can be confused for white crappie, but white crappie have vertical bars where black crappie, like this one, are more blotchy. And also, black crappie have seven to eight dorsal spines, several other things, but the seven to eight dorsal spines and no vertical bars are a dead giveaway for black crappie. Hey, that's another one. What she is, what she is. Another little crappie. And this time, chill. I don't want you getting off. This time, it's not a black crappie. It's a white crappie. It's kind of pale, but you can get the idea. Vertical bars and white crappie have four to six dorsal spines. But our white crappie usually get quite a bit bigger than black crappie in this case it ain't but hey i'll take crappie anytime i can get them i ain't caught a whole heck of a lot of them here lately mostly because we're kind of getting close to that transition where it's starting to warm up and they're starting to spawn and go places i can't get to What are you? We're gonna try to work you back down this way. That way I can get a little closer to the water. This is a pretty good fish. Ah, that's why it's fighting so hard. That is why it's fighting so hard. <laughs> Big mama, the uh, white bass. Now they, they're easily confused as hybrid bass because they do look like them now the females especially because they're more rounded they're full of eggs but white bass always have that goldish colored eye and nine times out of ten one single line going from the head to the tail where hybrids a lot of times will have three sometimes four also the white bass never well almost never get above about 16 inches whereas hybrids can sometimes in really really good cases get upwards of 30. all right it's a little bit after six o'clock i'm just going to give it a few more minutes and then head out because as much as oh i had a feeling something was going to be right there at the end of this tree Get back. That's what it was. Skipjack, if you've never caught one, chill. Hey, there's a little bluegill. Skipjack, if you've never caught one, they look a lot like tarpon. And that's where they get their name, Tennessee Tarpon. Like they fight like one, they jump, they hit like one. They make great catfish bait, and I'm sure somebody somewhere has kept and ate some. I definitely ain't one of them. <laughs> but what was I saying? Because I brain farted and forgot what I was saying. Oh, it's a little bit after six. I'm just going to live a few more minutes and head out. I like being able to fish a little bit later in the day. But at the same time, I like winter time. I do like it getting darker a little bit earlier, to be honest with you. But as a fisherman and a content creator, that getting dark later 
is definitely a huge advantage because about a month month and a half ago i would already be at home or at least headed home and it's still plenty of daylight to be out here fish for another 30 45 minutes probably thought i felt a little little nibble little nibble what she is a little yellow bass Now, now, behave. I just want to take a picture. And I tell you what, these things right here, like I said in a previous video, everything on these fish is sharp. I bet when God created the yellow bass, he's like, let me make a swimming razor blade. Covered with needles. <laughs> yellow bass are, they're spastic little farts. And like I said, they are sharp everywhere. Their scales are sharp. Their gill plates are sharp. Their dorsal spines and pectoral spines are sharp. Nothing on a yellow bass is dull. The My leader not broke. I just sent a 16th ounce jig <laughs> across the creek. Oh well. It's getting late. I need to be heading out and getting all my stuff back together anyway. So that is exactly what I'm going to do as soon as I get this line clipped up. Alright y'all, it's got late. Fish have pretty much stopped biting. And I really wasn't intending on fishing today. I mainly wanted to go look at the two bridges that we looked at in the first part of the video and kind of just scope them out, see what it looked like, see if there's any bank access, and which I already kind of knew. And instead of going to the place that I was originally going to go before this spot, we came here and I'm glad we did because we did catch a couple of fish. Nothing crazy. I mean, we did catch the one big white bass, but hey, fish were caught and that's all that matters can't have epic days every single time you go out because you'd get spoiled you'd, you'd definitely get spoiled real quick with high catch days every single day but like i said in a previous video the way i find places like this those bridges there's this place here google maps you know look around the places that you typically fish see if there's any sloughs or pockets or creek beds or anything like that abandoned boat docks things like that and pin those places that way you can find them later on and also i don't know if you can see it but on x hunt it's like 30 bucks a year which is what i got not sponsored by them but hey if y'all just happen to see this hit your boy up i talk about on x a lot <laughs> and it would be awesome let's make a deal <laughs> but yeah on x hunt it tells you a lot about where you want to check out, like whether a place is private, whether it's county land, for, uh, state land, public private, you know, all kinds of different things. Uh, different topographical stuff. There's a ton of stuff I haven't even looked at yet. But anyway, this outro has gone on far too long. I'm going to get home, warm up, and maybe do it tomorrow again if we don't get rained out, which we probably will. Hope you like the video.